Welcome to the 48 Laws of Power Super Secret Focus Study Session Law 44 Disarm and Inferiorate with the Mirror Effect So this is a really super cool law I mentioned it a bit in previous law The mirror reflects reality And is also the perfect tool for deception So it talks about, you know, us when we look in the mirror We probably kind of stand back and we're like Oh yeah, I'm so good looking But if we get super close or we can see like, oh, I have some wrinkles here. Like, oh, I have a pimple here. We tend to not do that. We tend to not look and analyze ourselves because we see that we are just a person among other people. Back here, we might feel like special and, oh, we're so great. But what if we get up close, we notice the blemishes and we realize that we are just a thing, okay? Because when you see someone, when you when people see you, you're just a thing. They don't know how you think. They don't know how you treat people. They don't know how you feel. They just see you. They see how you dress. That's why appearances account for so much, okay? And imagery and symbols can definitely uh, influence how you're perceived. So, mirroring your enemies makes them not be able to figure out your strategy. So, if you have enemies, if you're fighting, mirroring them, mirroring them. And I don't just mean like a fist fight. Look at that form. I don't mean just like a fist fight, but maybe it's a battle of like politics or something. Mirroring them, they don't know what your strategy is. Now, you can also mirror people that you want to mesh with and influence. Maybe it's a maybe it's a woman if you're a guy or, or a, a, a guy if you're a woman or you like guys or you, you're a woman that likes women. Whatever it is, you can mesh with them by using the mirror effect to gain influence to gain power over them so it's either you can use it for your enemies or you can use it for your friends or people that you want to be your friends so hold up a mirror to their psyches and you will be wait what oh hold up a mirror to their psyches and they will be seduced because they believe you hold the same value so you know, we like people that are like us. So someone says, hey, you know, I like basketball. You're like, oh, yeah, you know, I like basketball too. Pacing them, going with them until you find that moment where you take control. Okay, so you can definitely use this to reflect whatever they're saying, reflect it back. Hey, you like this, I like this too. You like this, I like this too. You like that? This is a mirror I'm holding. You like that? So do I. You like that? So do I. You like that? So do I. You dislike that? So do I. You dislike this? So do I. You think that? So do I. So do I. So do I. Okay, so do I. So keep that in. So do I. If you can resist the power of the mirror effect. So, if people think that you're just like them, it's hard for them to resist. Because why would they want to resist? It's like... They've met someone, they're a perfect match, basically. They met someone just like them. They can imagine all these things, like, oh, I'm going to be their friend, you know. Maybe I'm going to be their lover. Maybe I'm going to be their business partner. If they think you're just like them, they're going to love you. So make yourself be just like them, and you can gain love. And also, if it's your enemy, make yourself just like them, and they'll be frustrated. They'll be like, what? Because they will know what they're up to. And if you're acting just like them, they won't know what you're up to. So we have four, four mirror effects in the realm of power. So the neutralizing effect is to mimic, slash mimic is copy, so just do whatever they're doing. Mimic them as best as you can. Do what your enemies do. They cannot see what you're up to. So we just talked, we just talked about this, you know, Doing what they do as best as you can. So maybe you can't act exactly like them. Or maybe they can buy a red Ferrari. But you can only buy like a red Chevy Malibu. It's it's your best. Okay. Hell we both have red colors. Yeah they're both cool. Like um, I have four doors. Yours only has two. But I mean I love the two doors on this one. Something like that. I mean maybe don't even point out differences. Oh yeah it has a motor. It's red. Yeah. So... The reverse is the shadow, okay? So, you can also shadow every movement without them seeing you to gain info. So, they're doing something, you're doing it too, you're seeing what, or maybe you're not even doing it, but if you're doing it, you don't let them see. Or you're just kind of, you're kind of seeing what they do without being seen. Does that make sense? Basically, you're spying on them, alright? 
straight up it's fine you're basically just being their shadow like oh they're doing this they're doing this you're gathering intel that you can use later maybe you're like at the mall and you're watching consumer behaviors you're like oh this is how people shop okay yeah this is what i need to do to sell my next product here at this mall that would be considered shadowing you're basically just following them around and gaining intel valuable intel so um i think this says narcissist effect yeah so we are profoundly in love with ourselves all right so look deep into people's souls fathom their innermost desires meaning like understand their innermost desires values taste spirit and reflect it back to them making yourself a mirror image uh mimic physical and psychology so these in the book are like oh so these are the effects okay i was thinking there were different strategies for a minute but their effects so it's all the same thing you can on the surface just act like them mimic them great but if you can really like do that and then dig even deeper like hey i like that too but you know why do you like that oh uh, like did you do that ever since you were a child oh did you know your dad when you were a child or like probe down deep into their spirit into their values in all the way into their past like to as far back as they remember like get deep in their thoughts so we have the moral effect so the teacher's mirror so basically it's when someone if you do something let's say hurtful to someone they reflect it back to you to show you how much you've hurt them um i've had this happen to me before like maybe i'm a little bit too mean and the person like does it back to me and i'm like oh why you're being too mean and they're like oh yeah well that's i mean i'm just treating you how you treat me okay so it gives you like a real le a lesson in reality and you can start to tailor your behavior and act in a better way when you see this it could be also like you could see people acting in a certain way and if you're aware enough you'd be like oh i acted like that that's how i look when i act like that i'm not gonna act like that anymore okay so it has a moral effect it's called the teacher's mirror uh it's used to show someone a lesson and you can use that too like let's say it's supposed to be mean to you i'm like do you want me to yell at you like you're just yelling at me does that make you feel good or no and they'll be like oh no okay like okay let's just talk calmly here so that's the, the moral effect uh the hallucinogenitory effect oh i said that so smooth so great first time i've ever said it create a copy of the real thing and deceive so it talks about uh con artists doing this you know there's a ton of scams going around it's like a bank scam you know they basically clone like the bank website the bank phone number or the bank script and call you up and like hey there's something wrong with your account you know here at uh xyz bank we just need your routing your account info and your pin and your debit card number just to verify so they're they're creating a copy a clone that's not real not trustworthy of something in the real world so you you got to be careful with that or you can use it to your advantage so next it says a warning beware of mirrored situations so mirrors contain power and are also dangerous so you got to be careful when you're using these mirror effects because you if you're not careful you're going to mirror someone and you're going to become them you're going to start to think think like them so you need to be careful not to mirror them so much to where you become them or they gain power over you you have to gain power over them mirroring can cause you to be associated with others good or bad qualities okay so you mirror someone so much uh you start to act like them you start to take on their traits their bad qualities you wouldn't want that if you mirror their good qualities good that's awesome but doing this mirror work mirroring and doing the shadow work you need to be careful not to you know like do get too far into their path because then you're just going to be trying to fulfill a great man's shoes or a great woman's shoes like we talked about in a, another law and you don't want to do that so you need to be careful so mirrors very powerful on one hand very dangerous on the other so you got to master the the art like we talked about before so you have to be in control all the time with this strategy because if not then you're gonna 
lose control and it's not going to be good for you. You're going to go deep into the mirror and you're going to be lost in the mirror of someone else. You're going to, it's not going to be good. So make sure that you are using this law very carefully. Like, comment, subscribe, get notified, share this video, message me, book a session with me, and make sure you're using law very full, law very, law 44 very carefully. Disarm and infuriate with the mirror effect.